everyone, and welcome to this episode of GTT, Gavin Tips and Tricks. Today we are back on the iPod Touch, and we are going to just help you get to know your iPod Touch. Now, this, um, this tutorial is guessing that you already have the iPod Touch 2.0 software update. If you don't have it, plug your iPod into your computer and make an update to the 2.0 software update. It costs about 10 bucks. And it's with Pisces, okay? So, to get to make you get familiar with your iPod, we're just gonna go step by step. So the first step, get familiar with the touch with not the touch screen, with the home screen. Okay, so first <clears throat> up here you have Safari, and it's just a normal web browser like Internet Explorer or Firefox. And then you have a calendar, then you have an email program. That reminds me, if you send an email to gttouch at gmail.com, it's also at the bottom of this video, it will come up onto my iPod Touch, and I will probably be able to get back to you faster. Okay, then we have Contacts, which is just an address book. YouTube, which is YouTube. Pretty simple. You have Stocks, and I'm actually going to go into Stocks and show you it, because it's pretty awesome. You get like the stocks for anywhere from a day to two years. So as you can see, Apple has been steadily going up. Okay, so you can do that with a whole bunch of other ones. Then you have maps, which is just like Google Maps or whatever. Then you have weather, and you get like a weather forecast and the current temperature and highs and lows and all that good stuff. And then the clock, you can add multiple world clocks. I have Chicago, London, Beijing, and Sydney, because that's where most of my friends live, at least in those time zones. And you can add more if you want, I just wanted four. Okay? Then you have an alarm, stopwatch, and a timer. So there's your clock application. Now, this next one, I would say, is a really cool application for the iPod Touch because it's built in and it is really, really cool. So it's called Calculator. Normally you just do this like whatever plus whatever equals that. Well, it's not just a normal calculator. You turn your iPod Touch to the side. I just have to tilt it to get to recognize that. Then you get a scientific calculator. And you get stuff like, um, oh wait, you get pi, which you get pi, um, get lots of cool stuff on here. So, and then if you flip it back to normal, then you get the normal calculator again. Okay, and then the next application here is called Notes. You can just write yourself little notes. I've written myself an A-day note, a B-day note, and a locker info note, so that if I forget like my locker number or combination, I can just look in here and it'll tell me. And A day and B day is my schedule at my school, so I don't miss my classes. Okay, and then the App Store. This is probably my favorite application ever for this, because it lets you get new ones and does so much more. So you get the featured applications, new and what's hot. You get categories, games, music, news, sports, weather, all that good stuff. Top 25, you can search for things by title and updates. Now you're really lucky because one of my applications has got an update now. So all you have to do is touch on the update, okay, and then hit free or whatever it is, and then install, okay. Then you have to type in your password. Okay now, as you can see the application is on your home screen now and it says it's loading. Now. I personally think that all of my things should be categorized on different home screens. So, if you hold down on an icon until the icon starts shaking like that, then you can move an icon to the edge of the screen and go to the next page. Okay? If you put it there, then after it's done installing, it'll knock out the old one. So, that's mainly your home screens, and now I'll show you a little bit more of Safari. So, in Safari, you go up to the top, you can enter a new address, and you can go practically wherever you want. For instance, let's say we want to go to Ustream. Okay. 
go to Ustream.tv or whatever site you want to go to, and it'll load it up just like it would on your computer. Except it might use the mobile version on some websites. Like YouTube, I would recommend just using the YouTube um, application for it because it's so much better. If you double tap, it'll zoom in or zoom out on the section that you tap to. You can, of course, use the pinch out and pinch in to do that. So then that's cool. And you can flip your iPod to the side and get a landscape view of the website. You know, just flick to go down or up or whatever. And so that is Safari. You can put bookmarks in to do whatever. You can add stuff to bookmarks, home screen, or mail a link to the page. And you can have more than one window open at once. Except I don't really want more than one window open. So, there's that. And then we'll go into YouTube now to show you more of that. So we can see the featured videos on YouTube. Quite a few of them. The most viewed videos. Can you guess which one is first? Okay, that's this week. All time. The all time most viewed video on YouTube is Evolution of Dance. I've seen it a few times. And if you didn't know that, then you just learned something new. You can go to bookmarks and you can bookmark videos. You can search for videos. And you can add more stuff to this, like history, top rated, and most recent. So that's pretty cool. So let's look at a video. It comes up in landscape mode, so here is this. And I don't have any speakers plugged into it, so you can't hear it. But, come on, play. Here we go. See, and then it'll just play the video like it would on your computer. Or whatever. So that's pretty neat. I'm not really sure what this is, but we'll just exit out of it now. Okay, so then go back to your home screen, and you're back there. Okay? So, also one thing I forgot to go to and mention was settings. This is very important if you want to get internet on this. Okay, so as you can see, Wi-Fi, I'm connected to Roscamp because it's the only one. It's my home network. You can turn the Wi-Fi on or off. And I will forewarn you that Wi-Fi sucks up your battery faster than anything else. So if you're not using the internet, shut it off, okay? You can get different networks here and it'll automatically connect to known networks. So that's pretty neat. Also in settings, you can adjust your brightness. And I have it set to the lowest for screen recording, but when I'm normally using it, I have it set to the way brightest when it's plugged in. And auto brightness changes it with the built-in brightness sen sensor up there. Okay, so we're going to turn that back down so you can see it. Okay. Also in settings you have general, music, videos, pictures, mail contacts, calendars, safari, and then any programs that you have on it that use this. For instance, I have a game called Scribble and you can change the sensitivity of the shake. For instance, shake hard, you have to shake it really hard to erase. Okay? So, then down here, of course, we have music, videos, pictures, and iTunes. They are pretty simple. So, music, normal iPod. Okay? So I hope that you liked today's episode. I know it's a very long episode, and I had to cut out quite a bit to fit it all. So, I'll just stop right now. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned next weekend for an Ubuntu episode on CCSM Compass Config Settings Manager. I'll see you next time.